We visited with Paul Reiner, manager for the Diamond Vogel paint store in Duluth, Minnesota, to talk about the pervious pavers installed at their store in 2003. We asked Paul about cost and maintenance issues, what he's learned from managing the property over the years, and whether he was satisfied and would recommend these pavers to others. They're brick pavers um, on top of rock, which is on top of the soil, so it allows the, the opening between the bricks, the rainwater goes through, hits the pavers, disperses from there, and then soaks into the soil. After a heavy rainfall, water does sink into the openings between the pavers. There's uh, some sort of P-rock or something, about eight inches, I believe, that the water soaks into and then into the soil underneath. So it does retain the rainwater without running down the street and into Lake Superior. It's a lot more expensive than concrete or blacktop, um, but we are within, I believe it's 1,500 or 2,000 feet within Lake Superior. We had no choice but what to put it in anyway. So it is probably three times the expense of blacktop. They've held up fairly well. We've got a couple areas right outside our, our door where we haul heavy drums of paint out that they started to sink slightly. Other than that, we've had no real problems. Other than we've got a steep angle coming into our parking lot that sometimes cars bottom out of. Sometimes that could be a problem. But overall, it's held up really well. Um, so it's held up for almost eight years already. I guess the one lesson I've learned is I'm surprised that the pavers have lasted and held up as well as they have so far. And I would recommend this to anybody for environmental reasons. For more information about storm water, water quality, and the practices described in this video, visit lakesuperiorstreams.org. We thank Minnesota's Lake Superior Coastal Program and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration for supporting this project.